Hello everybody. Hello and welcome to another Sunday with Linda Jarrett and the Temples of Gold Light. So today we're going to be connecting to Athens, Greece, Temple of Golden Light. So while I'm waiting for everyone to join us, I'll just take you through some more information about the Temples of Golden Light. Hello everyone. So the Temples of Golden Light, there are 144 Temples of Golden Light and they have been placed all around the world. Now these temples are in the etheric. They're not in the physical, they are in the etheric. Just like we have chakras, energy centers. Hello, oh hi Cora. <laughs> um, just like we have chakras and energy centers in the body, these temples have been placed in the etheric all around the world. Now they are overlit by Divine Mother. So they are basically feminine energy, but they do connect to some ascended masters and some gods and deities. They're not religious. The Temples of Golden Light aren't religious. Morning. Well, it's morning here. Good morning for people in England, UK, but obviously around the world, it could be good afternoon or good evening. So hello. So the Temples of Golden Light are a gift from source. They have been given from source to humanity. And the reason being that there have been for some time on our planet an imbalance of energy. So now the goddess energy has come very strongly. So the Temples of Golden Light are all about the Divine Feminine. They're all about Divine Mother. And Divine Mother has many, many aspects of Divine Mother. All love and light, some of the goddesses are known as warrior goddesses. So today we're going to connect to Athens, Greece. This temple represents abundance, but the main goddess that overlights Athens, Greece temple is Pallas Athena. Now, Pallas Athena is all about being a warrior, being strong, being brave, being courageous. So when you connect with the meditation, you will, as you connect to Pallas Athena, you will connect with very strong, brave, courageous energies. We're going to also be connecting to Aphrodite. Aphrodite is a goddess of love, goddess of Venus, a sea goddess. Now, she is different energy. She is um, more loving and subtle in her ways. So, what I'm trying to explain is that all the different goddesses are different energy. But they come from love and they come from light because we on humanity, morning, we on humanity are all different personalities. <clears throat> we're all unique, we're all completely different. We all have different characters, we all have different strengths, different weaknesses. So we, we are who we are and we need to stand in our authenticity and our own uniqueness. So the temples are here to help you, they're here to help you create abundance, they're here to help you achieve your goals, your desires, your wishes, your dreams. The temples are here to help you with clarity, they're also here to help people with healing, whether that's physical, mental and emotional. There are different ways people need to be healed. The temples give you balance, they will balance your chakras. In a few moments, when I feel ready that everyone has joined, good morning, um, then I will start the meditation and the meditation will be to clear and cleanse and balance, realign all of your chakras, all of your energy centers. And also at the same time, your auric field will be cleared. So all of the temples of golden light is surrounded by rainbow angels. And the rainbow angels are overlit by two new archangels to this planet. Archangel Metazeal and Archangel Honoriel, his twin flame. They're in charge of all of the rainbow angels. And all 144 temples are surrounded by the rainbow angels that can clear and cleanse all of your chakras and give you healing. So we're just 
Kiana. We'll just wait just a couple more minutes and then I will start the meditation. So apart from clearing and cleansing all of your chakras and your auric field, today the meditation is all about abundance. Creating your abundance, holding the vision for your abundance. The Temple of Golden Light we're connecting to Athens, Greece, is one of the pivotal temples for leading the way forward on a physical level in the world. Athens is leading the way forward regarding money, cash. As you know, the planet is changing. People are rising up. We don't want to be controlled by a lot of major companies, but that is another discussion <laughs> for another time, not for me. <laughs> Um, so I think in a moment we're going to start. Hi Maria. So I think, okay, I'll start the meditation now. So I'd like you to take in three deep breaths. So breathe in gold and breathe in love. Breathe in love and breathe out gold. So breathe in new energy and breathe out love old energy. So as you do this, breathe in new energy, breathe in love, breathe out gold, and as you do that, breathe out anything negative that's happened this week, anything someone said to you to upset you, anything that's happened to you, any situation, any circumstances, I just let you, need you to let, start to let it go. Okay, so breathing in love, breathing out gold, and again, breathing in new energy, breathing out old, just let anything negative go. Just let it all go. Wipe the slate clean, pretend that there's a screen in front of you and just wipe it, just wipe it clean. Let go of any negative energy. Okay, so you're surrounded now by the rainbow angel. And the rainbow angels are going to clear and cleanse all of your energy centers, all of your chakras and your auric field. But at first, I need you to ground. So you can visualize yourself as an old, beautiful tree. You can visualize yourself in England. We have lovely oak trees. You can visualize yourself as a beautiful oak tree. Or wherever you are, whichever your country you're living in, just visualize a beautiful, a beautiful old tree of your choice. And see yourself as that tree. And visualize from beneath your feet, long, thick, golden roots flowing through the soles of your feet, all the way down through the rock and soil, through the crystalline grid and take your roots deep, deep, deep down into Mother Earth's sacred crystal cosmic heart center. You can, if you like, wrap your roots around two crystals, a rose quartz crystal representing love, unconditional love for yourself and others, and also a hematite crystal to help you be grounded, to be earth, to be anchored. And also, if you like, you can visualise the crystals with your golden roots in an area of water, deep, deep down in the planetary core. So now I want you to feel Mother Earth's loving, subtle energy flowing up through your golden roots from Mother Earth and into your feet. And as this happens, allow Mother Earth's subtle energy to flow around your feet, into your ankles, up your calves, your knees, your thighs and your hips. And allow Mother Earth's loving energy to flow into the whole of your body. Allow her energy to flow into all of your organs bathing, soothing and cleansing 
all of your organs, particularly your digestive system, your heart center. So allow Mother Earth's energy to bathe and soothe all of your organs, particularly digestive system and heart centers. This is where we, we feel any disharmonies the most. So now allow Mother Earth's energy to flow down your arms, your hands, your fingers and fingertips. And allow Mother Earth's energy to flow around your head, your face and your hair. So now that you're feeling anchored and grounded to Mother Earth, I'd like you now to imagine a golden light coming from source. And moving through all of your higher chakras, we have chakras above our head. We have a soul star, a cosmic chakra, a chest star child, causal chakra, stellar gateway, lots of different chakras above our head. So as the golden light moves down through, it's clearing and cleansing chakras above your head. And the energy now settles into your crown chakra, just above your head. And the golden light is clearing and cleansing your crown chakra with the help of the rainbow angels who surround all of the temples of golden light. You may feel a sensation above your head. If you've had a difficult week, something negative has happened, then you may feel as your crown chakra is being cleared that you feel a sensation just above your head that's fine, don't worry about it. Just allow your crown chakra to be cleansed. Cleansed and cleared of any negativity. So we're going to now move to focusing on your third eye. If you focus on your third eye, the seat of your inner vision, and just feel your third eye, which is the seat of inner vision, clairvoyance, where you can help yourself and help other people. Sometimes you may be given a message or a vision to help yourself or other people. So feel your third eye being given a cleanse and a clean and a polish. And the third eye connects to your adenoids. You know, you have little chakras all over your face. So once your third eye has been cleansed, it clears other chakras. You have eye chakras, little chakras behind your eyes. You have chakras either side of your nose, the bridge of your nose, your adenoids. You have chakras on your face. So once the third eye is being cleansed, it does free up all the other little chakras that may be blocked as well. So now we're going to focus on your throat center. So feel energy in your throat chakra as your throat chakra is being cleared and cleansed. Sometimes we can have a little bit of a block. Sometimes we speak too much or don't speak at all. Your throat centre does need to be balanced. There again, you may feel a sensation in your throat chakra as your throat chakra is being cleared. And we're going to go to your thymus chakra, which is the little chakra between your throat centre and your heart centre. Now your thymus chakra governs your hormones, governs your thyroid, governs your lymphatic system. So allow the thymus chakra to be cleared and cleansed. And now we're going to move to your heart centre. So this is a biggie. So the heart centre, you can feel it being cleansed in the front of you and the back of you. People store energy here. So if anyone's hurt you this week or this year, last year, if you have any hurt, any anger, any resentment, any pain in your heart through to other people saying things unpleasant, through to situations, circumstances beyond your control. So just feel your heart centre being cleared and cleansed. 
We do have three heart centres. We have your normal heart centre, compassionate heart centre and your um, cosmic heart centre. So if you do feel a little bit of a pressure in your heart centre, that's okay, that's quite normal. That means that your throat, um, sorry, your heart centre is clearing. So we're on the heart centre. So your heart chakra is clearing. And you may feel a little bit of pressure behind the shoulder blades at the back because the chakras are in the front and at the back of us and the heart chakra is a very big chakra. So as it's clearing, you may feel a sensation in front and back, but it will pass. It will definitely pass. So now we're going to take a moment to clear your solar plexus. The solar plexus links with the heart centre, so as your solar plexus is being cleared, you may feel your tummy rumble. If you have a lot of um, energy in your solar plexus that shouldn't be there, you may feel slightly nauseous. Again, this is normal. If you do feel a little bit nauseous, that's all it'll be. People aren't generally sick, they just feel a little bit nauseous, so that's okay and that will pass so as your solar plexus is being cleared you could have tummy rumbles or you could have a feeling of being nauseous but this is normal quite normal so the rainbow angels are helping you to clear the solar plexus and the golden light is coming in more and more and more and this will help you to stay balanced to be in harmony. So now we're going to move to your sacral center, the seat of your creativity, clearing and cleansing this chakra. And also your base chakra, that's now being cleared and cleansed. With your base chakra, you know, you do need to be here, you do need to be grounded, you do need to be anchored to the earth. You have chosen to live at this time to be on our planet when there is so much going on and on our planet at the moment there are so many star seeds so many light workers so many people here specifically for changing the energy so we are living at a very pivotal time this is a very lucky time to be here and many of you that have joined today, I know you're light workers. So you are here with your light, with your lovely energy, and you're here spreading messages of hope, of light, of positivity. You're here being part of the global change on our planet of going from being negative to positive. So now I'd like you to connect with your earth star chakra, which is approximately 12 inches below your feet. Your earth star chakra is very important to this needs to be developed. So just think of about a foot beneath your feet, about 12 inches beneath your feet. And this is where your earth star is situated. And this needs to be developed. And then we're going to connect with another chakra deep down in the earth. And this is the Gaia chakra, G-A-I-A, -A, the Gaia chakra. So the Gaia chakra you do need to be developed as well because the higher up you go, the nearer you get to source. Or if you do connect to source, then you do need to be really fully anchored, grounded, connected to Mother Earth's heart center. So just take a moment to focus on the Gaia chakra. So now as you are surrounded by the rainbow angels, you'll find that your auric field will now be cleared and cleansed. Cleansed of any clutter that you may have picked up this week or this year, last year, or generally if you're new today and some of you are, you may have what's called imprints in your auric field. And you can pick up imprints from your other people 
you know, if you get in contact with other people, you don't have to see people face to face. You can get negativity when people ring you. You can pick up negativity from Facebook. You can pick up negativity when someone emails you. So I'd just like you, while you're in your quiet space, your sacred space, just allow the rainbow angels to clear and cleanse your auric field. Our first point of connection with people is our auric field. And as I say, you can have imprints from others. You can pick up attachments. Sometimes you can go somewhere and pick up a ghosty. Not, not so many people do that these days as a lot of people have cleared and done a lot of soul rescues. So not so many ghosties on the planet now. But it is possible if you go somewhere very old, you can pick up a negative energy. So that's being released and detached from you as we speak. And also there are other negative things like entities, but um, nobody here today has got that, but if anybody did have them, that would be released as well. So, you're connecting now to your guardian angels. I need to mention all your guardian angels. You're connecting to your golden guardian angels. And also, Take a moment to connect to your earth guides as well. And those of you that are spiritual, some of you here today, I can see you, you're very spiritual. So some of you may know who your earth guides are. So let this be a time where you connect to your guardian angels and your earth guides. And also, if you like, you can take a moment now to connect to your family members, any family members in spirit. If you would like them to be with you in your sacred space, then welcome in family members in spirit, mum and dad, brother and sister, grandparents, anyone you may think of. Or if anyone's lost um, an animal that they loved, then obviously animals go into spirit so they can be with you so just take a moment to welcome in any um, animals that have passed over any people that have passed over family members and your guys guardian angels as you're sitting in this quiet sacred space and you are surrounded and protected by the rainbow angels and I would like to take a moment to just also mention Archangel Michael because I'm very aware of Archangel Michael at the moment. So um, I am a channel, I do channel, and I'm very aware of Archangel Michael at the moment. So Archangel Michael would like to give you a blessing. So I feel very strongly he is here. So Archangel Michael would like to give you a blessing and of course he would like you to speak your own divine truth if you're in a situation that's concerning you always always speak up and speak your truth Archangel Michael does connect to the depths of God and light as well as gods and goddesses Archangel Michael and Mother Mary do connect all of the archangels connect to the depths of God and light Gems of God might connect to all of the um, pure energies on our beautiful planet. So now, closing your eyes, we're going to journey to the Temple of Golden Light in the etheric of Athens, Greece. This temple is overlit by the Grecian gods and goddesses particularly by Pallas Athena. And this temple of golden light is situated in the etheric over the Parthenon, over the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. The Parthenon, the Acropolis is the temple of Pallas Athena and this temple is in the etheric above the Parthenon, the 
Hercules. So Pallas Athena is a goddess of wisdom, of skill. She is a warrior goddess, brave, courageous, strong. This temple is also overlit by Aphrodite. Aphrodite is known as the goddess from Venus. She's known as the goddess of love. So now Aphrodite, her energy is stepping forward as well as Pallas Athena. You're connecting to these energies as I say them to Pallas Athena, to Aphrodite. You're now connecting with a Grecian god, Apollo. Apollo is the sun god. The twin of Apollo is Artemis. You now connect to Artemis. And she's connected to the moonlight. And now we connect to Zeus, regarded as the controller of the elements of our planet. You now connect to Zeus. And also to Hermes and Dionysus. And the god Poseidon who rules over the seas. The god Poseidon also is known as the god Neptune. They are one and the same. It's just when the Romans lived, he, they called him the god Neptune, but he's the same, one and the same. He is the god Poseidon. And Dionysus, he is the god of wine. <laughs> Some of you <laughs> may like. <laughs> so he is known as the god of wine. So we're connecting now to lots of different Grecian gods and goddesses. We connect to Hermes, who is the son of God, who is in charge of vegetation, connected to Pan. So I'd like you now to imagine yourself just stepping into a beautiful golden temple in the Etheric over the Parthenon, the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. This is a pivotal temple of this temple is helping Greece move forward regarding money, finances. So I'd like you to imagine yourself walking into this temple of golden light. And first of all, you're going to find yourself in a healing pool within the temple of golden light. So just imagine yourself inside a healing pool within the Temple of Golden Light. And as you make your way towards the healing pool, you notice the healing pool and there is a Grecian maid who will hand you a towel. And you now start to find yourself swimming in the healing pool, letting go further of any negativity. Just enjoy yourself swimming in the healing pool. And within this healing pool you are joined now by a dolphin. And the dolphins are the holders of particular DNA, particular key codes, light language, light codes. And as you connect with the dolphin in the healing pool in Athens Temple of Golden Light, you are given key codes, key codes to help you raise your vibration, key codes to help you hold a lighter, higher quotient of light. You are given key codes to help you to be able to protect your energies from others. So just allow yourself to relax in the healing pool within the Athens Temple of Golden Light and just further clear and cleanse any old 
and your cheese. And also I'm being told while you're connecting to this temple, um, I'm become aware of ancestral karma. So what I need to say is that some of you will be cleared of some ancestral karma that is negative, okay? I have to go with what I've been told to do. So some of you here today connecting do have some ancestral karma, but I need to ask that the ancestral karma comes to an end, okay? That it's not carried on and carried forward. So some of you now will find that your energy is slightly shifting as you're being cleared of any ancestral karma. So while this is going on, just enjoy relaxing, feeling peace, seeing yourself bathing, swimming in the healing pool. Any ancestral karma is just being lifted away from you. You don't need it anymore. It's done, finished, end of. Okay, so now you can leave the healing pool, step out of the healing pool, try yourself with the towel given to you by the Grecian maid, maiden and make your way into the main hall within this temple of golden light. And you're going to find yourself sitting down in the main vast hall in the temple of golden light. And now what I'd like you to do is, in your mind, ask for your abundance. You may like to hold a vision for your abundance. You may like to, in your mind, think of your abundance. You may like to talk to yourself as you're in your own sacred space. Nobody else is about. You may like to talk to the terms of golden light, to the rain pages. You may like to say in a loud voice what it is you'd like. I want you to take a moment for any visions, any goals, any desires, anything at all, I would like you now to ask for your abundance. If your abundance, if you want cash money, then you do need to say you want cash money because there are abundances in many other ways, many other forms. Some people may like to meet someone and be in a relationship, a loving relationship, a relationship of love and light. Other people, you may like to start your own business, change a job, work for a different company. You may like to have 100% um, health, you may like to be healthy. You may like to, um, you may like to just simply move house, have a new car, you may like to travel, you know, whatever it is, whatever you have for your vision, you may like to write a book. You may like a book to be published. Whatever it is, just think, what is it that you would like in your life? What abundance is it that you would like to manifest? What is it that you would like to create? Would you like a harmonious, happy relationship? Obviously, in order to do that, you have to let go of the past. No good taking on anyone else and then, you know, them taking on your stuff. So just if that's the case, just ask to let it go. Take a moment to create your vision, your goal, your desires, your happiness. Take a moment to think of you. You know, you spend so much time thinking of other people, sometimes you don't have time to think of you. So this is your moment, this is now. Take time now to think of you, especially if you have families or looking after the elderly 
or generally work, work takes up so much time. So take a moment to think, what is it you want? What is it I want me? What do you want? So while you're sitting inside and connecting to Athens Temple of Golden Light and all of the Grecian gods, take a moment to think, what is it you want? You may like to write it down. Some people like to write things down. You may like to think it, you may like to talk it, you may like to vision what you would like. You may like to heal um, a, a situation within your family, within your friends. You may like the situation to be harmonious that hasn't been. So just ask, ask for whatever you would like, whatever you want, whatever you need, whatever. And then the secret is to just let it go. You've said, You've asked the temple of the golden line. You've asked the divine mother who overlights all of the temple of the golden line, essentially divine mother. So then you just wait. Like you're asking the universe, you just wait and you detach. You let it go. You don't think anything more about it. So then you become open to receive because you're not detached. If you do attach, you see, that means your ego gets in the way. So just take a step back, let it go. You can even see yourself walking away if you want to. Um, but just let it go, let it be, and just know that you will get your abundance. And sometimes we get abundance in different ways. It doesn't always come how we think. <laughs> We can get we can get abundance in different ways. We can get what we're not expecting, what we don't expect. Okay, so now I want you to start to come back into your sacred space and imagine leaving the main in the hall in the Temple of Golden Light in Athens, Greece, the Etheric. Come back into your space, and when you're ready. Open your eyes and smile to yourself. So now you should be beginning to feel more peaceful, more one with yourself and your surroundings, more one with planet Earth and the sky, nature, mountains, oceans, one with the universe. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to, if anyone has got something that they want to share about the meditation, then that will be great because that way um, I know some of you today are clairvoyant and if you don't see then you can feel, you can sense or you know. So if anyone has anything to share then do that please. But if you want me to help you with... Um, clairvoyant message as I am psychic I'm also a medium I'm clairvoyant so if anyone wants any message today regarding their life at this time or a little bit of help making a decision so if you can then take a moment to just message me and I'll do that now okay so if anyone's got um, a question even about the Temple of Golden Light, you may like to ask a question. I know Maria did the last week, you asked a question about the Rainbow Angels. Um, the Rainbow Angels do work on particular vibration. Ah, oh, Sophie, will it be long before you get a new workspace? No, it won't. No, it won't. So this is for Sophie Joseph. I think in the spring, in the spring, Sophie, there is news. Um, March, March, I'm seeing daffodils and tulips. I think there is an opportunity. I kind of feel, um, I'm, 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 I've got really cold shiver then, and I'm, I'm aware of a workspace as a 
more like maybe a unit, what we call in England a unit, somewhere somewhere you can rent, a, or, 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 or it could be a small space of a unit quite big that, that's there of maybe someone you know, that's for Sophie, but it's, it's spring, okay? And Petra, hello Petra, oh Petra, lovely, lovely to connect. Hello, had a golden dolphin around, wonderful meditation music. Oh, bless you, you saw a golden dolphin, oh bless you, thank you. Thank you Petra, and thank you for your lovely photos with all the rainbow angels, they're amazing. I've got quite a few on my Facebook. Lovely to connect with you Petra, bless you, thank you. Maria, thank you Linda, when I was in the pool, I strongly felt the energy of my dad who is still alive. And then you said we were clearing ancestral karma. Yes, I don't, I haven't done it before on, um, I've done it in workshops, but I've not done it on the Facebook Live. I just, do you know what? As I said about ancestral karma, I did think of you. I did see you join and you were in my thoughts, but I do think there's somebody else here on today um, who's also clearing ancestral karma. But yes, yes, it's it's your it's your dad, Maria, Maria Antona. Yes, yeah, your dad's stuff. Okay, so you have been doing some of his ancestral karma, but I get it. it it's um, most of it. Uh, I get seventy five percent today of of that stuff has been cleared with you and your dad. So what I would suggest, Maria, maybe just sit after. Um, the session today if you've got time or if not later on and just think of your dad and just just envision yourself back in the healing pool with the Athens temple and just go back into that time okay where you saw your dad and think to yourself or just need to finish off clearing um, this ancestral karma and then what I get it will be done it will be cleared all right, Maria, bless you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. It's always important to share because then other people join today know that you've had an experience and they may have had an experience, but not everybody says, you see. Hi, Laura. Please, can you explain what is ancestral karma? Okay, ancestral karma, good question. Thank you, Laura. Ancestral karma, this is when we come into this life and we can take on some karma that um, we have inherited from our genetics, from our family tree, if you like. So we can actually take on that karma. If the karma's got too much for someone, then if you're a more evolved soul, then you can take on that karma. Also, if somebody's coming on the planet with ancestral karma and they haven't dealt with it, then you, as a more evolved soul, because you're spiritual, you would take on that ancestral karma and do it for them because clearly they're in the same soul group as you. We are we are in soul groups, you see. You have 12 in your immediate soul group, so you're one, then you have a twin flame, then you have 10 soulmates, and then your your group then links with another 11. So in a whole, what they call monad, M-O-N-A-D, there are 12 groups of 12. So within that, you have soulmates, so with Maria, I get your dad is a um, soulmate. He may be completely different energy from you, but that's what happens because people come in on different esoteric ways. So their energy is completely different. So the, the, the most important thing is that you help to clear their ancestral karma because then the whole group spiritually moves on and moves up, you see. If someone's got ancestral karma, it can hold your whole spiritual group, your whole monad back that's why you would you would be invited to clear their ancestral karma because your whole spiritual group and your whole soulmate you know your whole group can be held back because somebody's got ancestral karma that they need to do it stops you from moving up okay so ancestral karma at this time i feel is very important to clear and i was told i had to do it with you today to help you guys okay i hope that's helped <laughs> Sandra, brilliant, thank you. Feeling that the dolphins have been trying to speak to us all this week. Oh, bless you, yeah. The dolphins, um, I mean, the dolphins are still here on the planet. They also thought that they were going to be extinct, but um, they are still here on the planet. They are, the dolphins connect to the energy of Atlantis. 
and the dolphins hold what they call key codes, DNA codes. They are they are helpers of the light. So basically, when you connected with the dolphins in the meditation today, you you connected to the energy of light, the light language energy. So, um, Sandra, yeah, any message for me from the dolphins? Oh, bless you. Oh, so I've seen the dolphins for you. Oh, they, they just love you. The dolphins are love. They just, they're very, um, the dolphins are very playful, very, very full of fun. So what, what they're saying to me is that they want you to um, have fun, the dolphins with Sandra. They want you to have more fun. They want you to enjoy life. They want you to have time for you. They just want you to have a little bit more fun in your life. They're saying you've got a bit serious sometimes and they, they want you to have fun. Okay, Sandra. Thank you. Sophie, you saw it in your meditation. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I saw it as well. You were linked. Yeah, yeah, you will. I, I, it could be that your unit, Sophie, Joseph, your unit, your workspace is within where someone else is already. It's, it's a small area, you know, you went to a small area. Um, okay, that's for Sophie. Maggie, hi, I saw you last, I saw you, I saw you last said, uh, was that? Hi, oh, when I saw you last, you said I was visited by a centred master oracle and I need to be ready for him to come. Who was this person? I've forgotten, how can I get rid of it? Oh gosh, I can't remember Maggie. Um, what I get with you, Maggie, at the moment is I'm very aware of Jesus Christ, with Maggie, very aware of Jesus Christ, so that could be the master that you need to connect to at this moment in time. Jesus Christ, I mean, he's all about the Christ energy, you know, um, I don't want to get religious here, um, but if you, you have to take Jesus Christ out of the context of the biblical story and see Jesus as the Christ energy and being able to connect with the Christ consciousness grid, which is what you're doing now, Maggie. So I'm very aware of Jesus Christ with you. Alison Corbett, thank you, Lynn. Did the meditation set me up for my day of studying? Oh, well done. Excellent, excellent. Hopefully you enjoyed it and that you find some peace, inner peace, inner peace is what you've got, Alison. Great, thank you. Alice, hello, Linda. Thank you for the meditation. Very relaxing. I felt a sense of release and clearing. Yes, good, 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 good. So you're clear, you're cleared and cleansed as everyone is today. Okay, Joanna. I'm leaving my home this week, city centre Athens. Is this still the right place for me to be? As I'm getting mixed messages, Linda. I don't know if this is a bit of fear or if, or if my time in Athens is done. Okay, you're moving you're moving more into city centre in Athens. Hmm. Okay, where you're moving in the city centre in Athens, Joanna, I'm feeling it's it's more of an older energy. I'm feeling where you were living before or where you visited before, it was a lighter energy. And I'm thinking as you're moving into the centre of Athens, what I'm getting is it's an older older energy and I'm not sure as your energy is so light if this older energy is actually quite right for you um and I do have to say Joanna I don't think you're going to be there that long I, I don't I don't want to put a negative there right um but I I, I feel that the, the, the energy you're moving into is quite old and um, you do need to clear it okay you're you're that's why you're getting mixed messages because on a high level your soul is thinking it's not quite right for you although it is a good location um that you, you need to clear it joanna i always clear with my champa um you may clear in another way i don't know some people use sage that champa is good you, you, Get, get, get the incense in there, clear particularly the corners, the corners of the rooms, because any negative energy settles in corners of rooms. Clear that. Um, you can ask for a portal of light to be open in, in, in the lounge, in the main room of where you're moving to, Joanna. You have enough power and energy to ask for a portal of light to be placed, particularly in the lounge of where you're moving to. But I'm, I'm not 
I'm not sure if you're going to settle there. I have to say, I see you. I see you flitting all over the place, really. I see you there. I see you in the UK. I see you somewhere else. And then I see you somewhere else. It's like four places, really. So uh, you, you use, use the place in Athens as a base for the moment, Joanna, all right? Use it as a base. Um, clear and cleanse it and ask for a portal of light to be placed, particularly in the lounge where you're moving to. All right, that's where you're getting mixed feelings. But I feel it will be okay. It will be okay, but you need to clear it, bring down the light. All right, thank you. It's because it's older energy. Okay, Maria, thank you. I've been working on ancestral stuff. Cool, yes, carry on. Do carry on. Yeah, you will, you will win. You will get through it, Maria. Um, and I think it's also something, what I'm getting being told here is also something, Maria, that you could do with other people. Do you do a psychic group? Do you do a development group? I don't know. Um, possibly in the future, if you're not already. But what I'm getting is I think it'd be something that you'd be good with helping other people with. You, you, you may not be able to do it how... I do, you know, with the Gems of Gold and Light, but it may be something that you could look into, Maria, all right? I think you'd be good at helping other people clear their ancestral stuff. All right, Maria? Petra, Sean is here too, and asked about skin problem on his right finger, fingertips, since months, feedback, welcome. It's not healing after a cut long ago, close, but feels off, very dry. Mm, okay. Is Sean your, your partner, your husband? It's not healing, right. Um, there's something that we use. I don't know where you live, Petra, whether you can buy it. I I think you live in Germany, Pet, Petra Soloway. I think you're in Germany, are you? Hanover? Or, um, there's something we use called colloidal silver. I'm not sure if you can buy it. Colloidal silver. Um, you can't get it very easily in this country. A lot of countries don't use it because it does heal. It heals all bacteria. If, if you Google it, um, colloidal silver, C-O-L-L-I-D-I-O-A-L, silver. See if you can get some. I don't, I don't know if you can get it in Germany either. You might have to get it. Um, if you go on Amazon, Petra, if you go on Amazon, you should be able to buy colloidal silver. I don't know, um, you, you know, we have a big problem with the pharmaceutical com uh, companies in this country, um, and, and they see colloidal silver as a threat, but it does get rid of very quickly all bacteria. So try, try um, colloidal silver. Like if you use colloidal silver, it'll go, because it gets rid of all bacteria. All right, so Petra, Try Amazon, go on Amazon, get some colloidal silver. You should be able to get it from there, okay? And then it'll go, gets rid of all bacteria. Trust me, use it a lot. You know, if it gets a sore throat, take colloidal silver.